carry on Cause I can't cope in this hole without you You sold me a dream Now I'm hanging on For my life Out of sight Out of mind If deliverance From the bitterness Means I have to let you go How's it going? Welcome to another video. Today's a Monday. It's currently 11.30 in the morning. So it's nearly midday. Uh, a bit late for a start of a fishing trip, but that's just how it goes. You get up in the morning and you think about going fishing and you end up out there, you know? So on this trip I'm heading up into the bush. So while I've got the chance, I'm heading up into the bush to fish some water that is very hit and miss. It's never been reliable but occasionally I hit it on a day when it's just crazy fishing. It's the middle of summer, the cicadas are going. They're wearing off now, but the trout should be on the feet on them. So I'm gonna head up into the bush, do a big walk through the bush, try and find some fish, hopefully some big brown trout. Then I've got a big walk out afterwards. Stay tuned guys, I'm gonna get into it. Hopefully get some good ones for you. Catch you in a minute on the water. Radio folks, we're on the water here and uh, about to start fishing. I've just got a short leader on for the moment just to fish this little hole because it's a quite a tight hole and after this hole I'm going to put a longer leader on but either way I'm fishing a little size 10 cicada. Um, I s already spooked a good brown from the back. He just shot up as you do into the pool there. But um, I had a peek off the bridge and I saw a couple of shapes up the top there that look like trout to me. Look like a couple of browns are in there so there's one spooked one that's already gone up and potentially a couple of less disturbed fish. So we're just going to get into it here and basically blind fish it and see if we can't find a fish. Yep, little fish just ate it. Small rainbow. Not the fish I was after, but it's a fish. Let's take him back if I can. Try to get him out because there's probably a brown up the front. Oh, well, it's getting us on the board. Either way, it's your typical summertime fish. Just a little rainbow. But it uh, gets us on the board. Oof, off he goes. Managed to wet the hell out of me. My whole face is soaked, but there you go, little rainbows for you. Just got to deal with them one way or another really. Cool, we're on the board, on the cicada. Now we go for the bigger dogs. Oh, we looked at it, got him. I just had to land it right above him. Dude, he's been messed up by something, he's got a big chunk out of his tail. Nice brown, but... Oh, dude, he's been hammered by something. He's pretty big. He's just had an unfortunate incident with perhaps an eel. I didn't realise there was fish in here that could do this to a trout. He's been hammered, dude. Spider on my face. Go on. Oh, 
Yeah, bro, he's got a munted toe, look at that. Been bitten by something, eh? Nevertheless, nice brown. So we've got a brown and a bow from the first hole. Always good start in the bridge, bridge pool. Gnarly old scar, but hey, nice brownie. Get on the board with. Off he goes. See how easy it is to see with that scar? It just kind of lights his tail up. All right, we've got a brown and a rainbow on the cicada in the first pool. Great start. Stay tuned. It looks like a good day. Generally, I only ever catch fish in here on the nymph, but today I'm not keen on throwing nymphs unless I see fish that won't eat the dry. I'm mostly, this is a cicada day, so I'm pretty much just going to chuck cicadas all day. If I have to throw nymphs, I will, but I should not have to at this time of year. It's, should be just cicadas all the way, really. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Nice brownie. Beautiful brown. Oof. Splashing me a little bit. Oh, missed him. Almost had him. He's doing the old brown trout thrash. Oh yeah, man. Beautiful fish. Right, there's a pretty nice rainbow over there. Just rising and feeding and getting at it right under the bank there, going hard. So, gonna, you know, put a cast over it. Got the cicada going, and uh, we'll see if he's keen. I, I suspect he's gonna destroy it straight away, but who knows? Here goes nothing though. Perfect, he's coming over to it, coming up to it. Got him. Nice rainbow. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. Get back here, buddy. Oh dear. Jesus. Must be a fatty, because he's got a lot of power. Must be a very fat fish. You can tell they got a lot of condition when they have a crap load of grunt, like this guy does. Play, play nice, play nice, play nice, play nice. Dude, far out, that's a fatty right there. It's pinned in the snout. Beautiful. Hey. Last pool, there was a, I just fished quite a big pool and uh, saw a couple of fish in it, I think three or four, and none of them were interested in the cicada. So I put a nymph on and I, I actually missed or lost two browns on the nymph just to, just to due to bad luck I had one eat it visually I saw his mouth open on it and close on it and I set the hook and got nothing and then the second one ate it while I wasn't looking and I hooked him had, a, had him on for a second but he came straight off so a bit of bad luck there but it looks like I'm going to be running a nymph up in the bush here which is not ideal but that's not such a big bad bad thing, you know. I'll leave the cicada going though. So we'll see what they want. Oh, there's a nice brown right there. Oh yeah, really nice brown. He's looked, got him on the nymph. He first looked at the cicada and then he was like, wait a second, there's a nymph there. And he went for that. <laughs> Epic. Very nice fish, beautiful fish. Oh, that's a gorgeous fatty. Oh, that's a, that's a mint condition fish. Gorgeous brown. He's coming right to me. Just in the top lip. No. 
I thought he was going to come in and be nice and play nice, but no. Oh, got a bit of water on me, but he's a nice fat brownie. Awesome fish. Pure condition. Gorgeous fish. Great colours, the whole works. Well. What a day, eh? Got a bit unlucky on the last pool, but that makes up for that, I'll tell you what. And check out the place, man. Just This is why I love fishing here. I'm going to be sad to leave, but at least I got to leave off on a day when there were actually fish up here, because quite often they aren't. But today's a good one. Today's one of the good days, it looks like. Oh, man. Crikey. This guy's gonna be a handful, I can tell. He's super fat. Fat as hell. Just dimpling away, rising on the surface, and uh, put a cast in, and he just smashed it. And now my line's all frayed. Oh well, nice. Right, so there's another fish in here. So the, there was one rising right here, which I just caught that little rainbow, who was just dimpling away on the surface. And now I've uh, come halfway up, and there's another one rising on the far side, where that cliff comes down. There's like a rock ledge, and he's just sitting off the little rock ledge there. And there he goes again, and he's just going for it. So I'm going to put a cast up, taking the nymph off. I've just got a cicada on now. And yeah, I'm just going to put a cast up there and see what happens. That's a long way off, two meters about, but he might come for it anyways. You never know. That's better. No, didn't get eaten. Did not get eaten. I'll try one a little bit further up and then I'll put a nymph back on, I reckon. Oh, that's just next to him. That literally, he rose as I cast and the fly landed on his rise ring. So I just need to get a, a tad further upstream, I guess. Let's try that. That's much better. That's got a good chance. Yep. Got him. What is it? Oh yeah, it's a big brown. Oh dude, what? I thought it was going to be a totally rainbow. It's a big brown. Oh dude. Oh dude, it's a big brown. Oh yeah, come on. It's like a five pound brown. What the heck? I thought it was a totally rainbow. <laughs> Finally, dude, I've been trying to catch a good fish out of this pool for years. This is the first one I've even seen. I've caught like two baby rainbows in like the last seven or eight years in here. 
and finally I come on the day when there was a big fish in there. It's a really nice brown too. Oh dude, come on. I got him. Oh, that is too good bro. That is awesome. Cicada brownies. Why do you love brown trout so much? That's why they're freaking awesome. Oh, there's an eel there. Let's have a, let's have a look at him. Check this guy out, just sitting there. Bold as anything. Good day, mate. He'll be looking out, looking out for the brown trout, trying to get a nip. Oh mate, it's 3.30 in the Arvo now. 3.30 and uh, I've got two or three pulls left and then I'm making the walk out. So uh, hopefully there's a couple more left, but it's been an epic day. No complaints there. Hit the like button below for this day, man. Freaking epic. Awesome. I've never caught a fish out of this pool. Seen a few, missed a few, lost a few. Never landed one. Spooked a lot. Oh, there's a fish there at the back. He might be spooking. I can see a fish. Small fish. He's looking at it. Oh, we didn't eat it. Oh, fish just rose right there. Okay, I know where a fish is, perhaps. Ah, oh, what a good time to tangle my boots. I just saw a rise on the far side there, so put a cast over there and see what happens. Oh, he's coming after it. He's coming up on it, looking at it. Missed it, missed it twice. Big brown. Got him. Oh, right in front of us. Big, beautiful brown. Dude, that was epic. He came across the stream all the way over there, tried to eat it a few times, but the line was around the rocks, so he couldn't, the, it wasn't drifting into his mouth like it should have done, so he kept missing it. Then he came and sat here, slowly swam up. I dropped it over him a couple of times and then smacked it. Epic. That's a beautiful fish, man. That's a freaking gorgeous brown. Oh my god, my drag just shit the bed. My drag just absolutely shit the bed. My net went down the stream through my legs. It's, my line's tangled on it. Oh my god, I'm fucked. I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Get off, get off, get off. No, okay, this is, this is not gonna work. Oh, lost him. Things in the net. Oh my god, I got him. What a cluster mess. Oh. That is a freaking beautiful fish. Oh yes, everything that could have gone wrong. My reel shit the bed, the, the drag completely disengaged, the line spool just went, all the lines spilled out. Um, then my line got stuck around my net handle like this. Then what else? The net drifted downstream through my legs. I mean, just you name it, it happened.
get a load of this guy. How beautiful of a fish is that? Just the colors, wow. Gold buttery brownies. Boosting upstream, happy as. He's currently just there, going upstream, flying upstream. Epic, man. What a freaking day. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Caught a few good fish. Um, there was a few around up here in the bush for once. Often it's empty, but uh, happy to say today there was some fish here. I uh, got the good ones. Didn't spook very many, so good day. Not sure how many I caught, but plenty of fish on cicadas, one or two on a nymph. Just smaller rainbows and bigger browns, which is the way I like it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next one on Kiwi Fisher. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Got a big walk out that's still to do. Got to get up there. It's quite a ways. I think I've got about an hour's walk to the car at least. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, nevertheless, great day. Catch you all in the next video on Kiwi Fisher.